Meanwhile, back in Texas, the 4th Texas Arizona Cavalry finally got its baptism by fire in the summer of 1864. Spruce Beard resigned from the regiment, so command of the regiment passed to Lieutenant Colonel Dan Showalter, who was promoted to Colonel. On June 25, 1864, 250 Texas Arizona cavalrymen attacked federal pickets at Rancho Las Rinas and drove them from the field. Losses were approximately 20 killed on each side. Then in July, the 4th Texas Arizona defeated Juan Cortina's pro-Union guerrillas at Rancho del Carmen. Because Cortina's men were Tejanos and Mexicans from the northern borderlands, they fought for the Union in the American Civil War, and they fought for Benito Juarez's Republican forces against the French. Cortina's troops crossed the border several times to fight in both ongoing wars. Then in August, Showalter's prestige grew further as men of the 4th Regiment captured the Union River gunboat USS Ark. However, the following month, Showalter's prestige turned to disgrace when his troops were defeated by Cortina's fighters at the First Battle of Palmito Ranch. Word got around that Showalter had been too drunk to lead his troops. When the heat died down a little bit, then Kennedy took a steamship to Mazatlan and finally reached the Texas border on January 19th with about 30 Southerners that he recruited in Mexico. However, he wasn't out of danger yet. Two days later, a band of armed men attacked Kennedy's camp in the middle of the night, killing seven rebel recruits, wounding seven more, and causing six others to flee back to Mexico. The attackers remain unknown. They could have been Federals, they could have been renegade gangs, which increasingly prowled the West Texas frontiers, sustaining themselves on violence. Or they could have been Juan Cortina's pro-Union guerrillas. With their provisions stolen, the 13 surviving Confederates spent the next several days eating their horses. Then Captain Kennedy found out on his return to San Antonio in late January 1865 that the Confederacy had virtually collapsed during the 10 months he'd been gone.